Now, there's no right or wrong way to communicate, but certainly there are ways to become more effective. This is a picture of the visiting clubhouse here at Safeco Field. The Mariners Clubhouse looks very similar, it's just a little bit larger. TVs are in a different place and there's more couches. Now, I have known Felix Hernandez as we further the story of his perfect game since he was a teenager. He was 19 years old when he made his debut. He is now 26 years old. And I would estimate that I have had hundreds of conversations with Felix and that very few of them have lasted more than two minutes. Felix is a lot like the CEO of a company. He's in high demand and he doesn't have a lot of time. It certainly comes at a premium. Now he's approachable, you'll always find him sitting at his locker, but there's a lot of people that are trying to get to him. Felix isn't that much different from a lot of the people that you work with. Felix isn't that much different from you, right? You're in high demand, you've got a lot on your plate, and time is at a premium. That is why the next thing we need to look at in a conversation is the time parameters that we place on them. Okay, ladies in the room. I went to brunch, true story, went to brunch on Sunday with a girlfriend. We went to a place down in Pike Place Market. We had a mimosa, a Bloody Mary, and coffee. And we had no time constraints, nothing on the back end of this meeting. We just met for brunch at noon. How long do you think we sat there? Three, yeah, three hours? Yeah, my parking expired at two and a half hours and I was over by 30 minutes. So yes, I, we were in there for three hours. Ladies in the room, nod your head. Is this about the way a great conversation works for you? Now turn and look at the miniature table and notice how big their eyes have gotten. Right, because I see these shocked and just confused looks on their faces. So I'm going right over here. Robert, Robert, will you help me out with something? Robert. If my perfect conversation is three hours, how long does your perfect conversation last? And I will give you a hint, as if you needed one. The average is much, 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 much less than that. So go ahead. What do you say? Who am I meeting with? I would just say any conversation. You're not meeting for mimosas. You're not meeting with, you know, like your best buddy, although I bet you're not talking that much with him either. But go ahead. Oh, I would say an hour. Robert is a friend I would like to have because Robert has exceeded the average, the number of times that I've asked this question in presentation, and he guesses as to how long most men will fess up to as having the perfect conversation be. I see three to five. What's your name? Drew nailed it. Five minutes. 95% of the time when I ask men how long is the perfect conversation, they will say five minutes. Now, there is no right or wrong way, but can I point out that there is a huge difference between three hours and five minutes? And here's where this comes in in business and in small talk. If I approach a conversation with John, and in my head I'm thinking, man, a really good conversation, I'm trying to build that connection, right? And I'm 20 minutes into the conversation, I think we're rocking and rolling, and John thinks that a perfect conversation lasts five minutes, I've exceeded my limit by 15 minutes, and he has stopped listening. And my message is not getting across, and that connection is not being made. Same thing, men, if you approach me, and you're trying to make small talk with me, and you're trying to get in on, the, on my good side, and you're just trying to get in and out and give me the information and get going in five minutes. Do you know what I'm thinking? What's wrong? Why doesn't he like me? Why didn't he talk more? What did I do? Did I say something wrong? Ladies, nod, nod your head. Is this about what you're thinking? Right? So guys, you might have been great in making your point, but all the women can think about is, oh my gosh. What just happened there? So now your point isn't getting made either. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick a totally different time frame that we're gonna do this in. You ready? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. I did not misspeak, I really did mean seconds. Here's why. This goes back to an old TV broadcasting principle. My very first class in journalism school, when they teach you how to write, writing for TV is very different than writing for anything else. And the shortest increment of time that you have to tell a story is 15 seconds. And I remember walking into class and saying, oh my gosh, there is no way. Like, are you kidding me? Talks too much is written on every single report card, right? They said, no, 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 you have to do it, but you have to pare it down and only give the facts. 
It's the Reader's Digest version of a story. And I'll be darned, it works. Because if you were to go home and watch King 5 or Como or any of your local channels, you would find that TV shows are timed out in 15 second increments.